Hey everybody, so today we're going to make a special game on our micro bit. And this game is called the Tilt Game. I'll show you here if you press both buttons. You'll get a little dot, and as you angle the micro bit around, it will make the dot roll and move. Can't really see if I hold it vertical, but. So, a little bit more complicated than the last few games we've made, but definitely fun with lots of variables, and we get to use this new input called rotation. Let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead, you can open up a new tab here, and let's type in make makecode.microbit.org. This brings us here into the main session. We're going to click New Project. This is going to be called Tilt Game. Uh, you may have a simulator on yours, but many of them don't work for now. But just follow along with me, and if you follow my codes, then it should work. And you can see why. So let's take away the on start and forever. What we're going to need to do uh, first is start, start our game. So we're going to use the on button. And I'm going to take A and B to start the game when you press A and B. And we're going to need to create a few variables here. Now, a variable thing is something that's generated within the computer program. And then when you have generated it, then something else can happen. So the first one we're going to generate is uh, we got to make our character. And I'm going to name him Dot because he's just one dot. Put that off. OK, and I'm going to uh, set dot to come down here. If you click Advanced, you can get Game. Create Sprite at 2, 2. Now, 2, 2 is 2 over and 2 down. You see? Comes right there. Now oh, he's already moving around. OK, so we're going to create that Sprite. And then we also need to be able to create when does the game start. So we're going we're gonna to make this variable called Play a new variable, and we're going to set play to true. So that means that when A and B is pressed, um, a dot will be created on the, in the middle of the micro bit, and the game, the gameplay, will also begin. So we can find true here uh, at the bottom of logic. So set play to true. So that is going to be a separate program than our forever loop. So go down to basic, take out a forever loop, put it right here. And now in our forever loop, we're going to make the actual gameplay. So let's go here to loops. And we're going to take a while loop, put that into the forever. And we're going to have it say while, go down here and get the 0 equals 0, put that in there, while the variable play, right? So now that the game has started, set play to true, while play equals true. So that means that this has must have had to happen because you don't want this game to like be playing before the sprite comes. Remember that the codes follow exactly what you do all the time. So while play equals true, we need to first start with our x-axis tilt. Remember, x is horizontal, so this direction. So we're going to set the variable x, set x, oh wait, do we, we need to create a new variable here. This is going to be called x tilt. So as the x tilt moves, we're going to then also attach that to rotation. So input, more, and we're going to take rotation. So now we're creating a new variable, and that's going to be the tilt of the actual micro bit as you tilt it to the left and to the right. We're going to change it from pitch to roll. Because with an airplane, if you roll, pitch is up and down. So pitch is Y and roll is X. So let's set our X tilt to the rotation of the roll. And now we're going to take an if loop. So we're going to go here to logic. We're going to pull an if loop here. So. Now, if that, let's go back and we'll get a 0 equals 0. Put that in there. We're going to make, if the x tilt, so now the tilt, how many degrees it is. Let's go get that variable, x tilt. And now if x tilt is equal, we're going to do, uh, we're going to set this to negative 10. So that's the left. If the x tilt is equal to negative 10, then we're going to make our variable dot change. So let's go back to game. 
we're going to take the this one. Sprite changes its x direction by one. We're going to change sprite to dot. So dot is going to change its x direction by negative one, so it can go left. We also need to make it um, not equal to negative ten, but less than less than negative 10. So now our new code is if x tilt equals less than, if x tilt is less than negative 10, then the dot will change its x by 1. Okay, let's give that a try here. Oh, it did go left. Oh, but it went instantly left. So let's go back to basic and let's do a quick pause here so it doesn't do the whole thing all at once. There you go, because it paused for 100 milliseconds in between. So that gets us going left, but we needed to go right. Grab the if then loop, control V, control C, control V to copy it, put it below. Now let's go left, right. So right is a positive direction. So if X is greater than positive 10, then change X by positive one. Let's see if that works. Left, right, left, right. Oh, that's great. So now we have ours moving left and right, and now it is time to add our Y. So let's go back to variables. We're gonna make a Y tilt. Now remember Y is like forward, backwards, or up and down, the vertical axis. So put that underneath. So set X tilt to rotation roll. Control C, Control V. Let's take our rotation roll, but just like I said before, we're going to change that to pitch. Okay, that's forward and backwards. Now we're going to do the, these uh, same two codes, Control C, Control V, but we're going to change them to Y's. And we have to make sure we're extra careful that everything is correct. Okay, so we're going to change this one here to Y tilt, this one here to Y tilt. Less than negative 10, then the dot will change Y direction by negative 1. Okay, that's going to be going down. And now going up or going forward, Y tilt greater than 10 dot changes Y by 1. Pause. And we have all of our pauses still. Let's give that a try. Left, right, up, down, left, up. Let's try to get back into the middle. No, nope. it's going to be a little bit easier. You can change the threshold to like make it like 15 if you want it to be a little bit easier to move around. But there you go. I'll back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. This code here gets the game started, and this code here is the gameplay. Now, if you get it to work, download it onto your micro bit, just like I showed you before, plugging it in. Set up your connector so that it can just download automatically, like this. You click download, it goes on. And then go ahead and click A and B and try out your game. See if you can get it to come back into the middle. There you go. Yay. Um, and then I challenge you, if you want, you can make a second sprite that does the opposite direction. You can set all of these distances to the opposite ones. But there you go. That's your tilt game. Go ahead, uh, do it yourself, play it for a few minutes, come up and show me. And good luck and very good job, everyone.